Hello everyone and welcome back to Moon Moth Goddess Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my main tarot channel here on YouTube. For those of you that this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, you might also want to check out my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot, where I do have a bunch of other picker card readings posted there as well. Uh, those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can always find my email down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you on more information on booking readings as well as other services that I do provide. Uh, so today's pick a card reading, we are doing what is going on with your person? How are they currently uh, feeling towards you? So pile number one, we have this card of kindness here with this ocean jasper for pile number one. And pile number two, we have the card Awareness, and that is with this little chunk of Selenite for pile two. And pile number three, we have this card One, and that is with this little Jersey Agate Moon for pile number three. So pause the video if you need a little bit more time. What is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? Pile one with kindness and the ocean jasper. Pile two with awareness and the selenite. Pile number three with the one card and the little jersey agate moon. Timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi pile one. So those of you that resonated with the kindness uh, card... I'm noticing already there's a little heart right there. She's also holding a rose. She's got a veil on. So we're going to see how this is playing into your reading. I'm going to pull your tarot. And we will see what is going on with your person, pile one. How are they currently feeling towards you? What is going on with pile number one's person? How are they currently feeling towards pile number one? What is going on with them? Okay, so we do have the Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Devil in reverse. How are they currently feeling? Let's see. All these reversals. Eight of Wands in reverse. I don't know if I can fit another one in here. We'll see. And we have Death. Interesting. Okay. So we do have Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and also Capricorn energy here as well. I'm going to pull a little bit more tarot. I'm going to use a different tarot deck, and let's see. What is happening? We've got the world's and the Ace of Wands. Is that it that came out? Okay. So we've got the World, the Ace of Wands. I'm going to pull some of these Oracle. What is going on with Pile Number One's person? How are they currently feeling towards Pile Number One? So I will say we have, what do we have? The Death, the Devil, as the Major Arcana that are here. And the card that you chose, Kindness, we have Creativity, which almost makes me feel like this person, there's some type of transformation that this person is going through. And I feel like a lot of it is working through a lot of fears, illusions, and things that maybe have been keeping this person stuck from a place of maybe... Moving things forward. We have forgiveness. 
Let's get one more. What is going on? We've also got the struggle. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing growth at the bottom. Okay. Which kind of looks like this is what's happening here. Um, when I was kind of pulling out these cards, I kept hearing Spirit say, softening to love. Softening to love. And we started off with the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful energy of happiness and fulfillment and joy. And I'm noticing that in this creativity here card, there is this water that's kind of overflowing out of this center cup into the other little cups that are below it. So it kind of makes me feel that wherever your person has been someone who has been held back by the restrictive energy that the devil can bring, the devil can be about fears and illusions and insecurities and you know, feeling this energy of control or manipulation, whether, whether it is something within inside of themselves or something external to them, the devil in reverse is freedom. It is being released from that energy. So wherever your person with the little struggle here, we have this little fish that's trying to swim upstream. Um, and then we have the energy of forgiveness here. It makes me feel like this person is working towards releasing a lot of their past. Okay. A lot of their past. I'm seeing this as a lot of transformation that is taking place within this person. And with the world energy here, it could be that there are certain cycles that this person is closing out. Right? Releasing. Letting go of. Um, things, maybe fears that have blocked this person from messaging you or contacting you. Delayed action. Delayed communication. Um... And I'm feeling there's like this transformation that's taking place within this person, you know, this to me kind of in a way because of the other energy that's here, it makes me feel like this person is working on releasing a lot of their past, healing, forgiveness, you know, maybe things that were hidden beneath the surface, things that they needed to purge in a sense with inside of themselves. Working on finding happiness within inside of themselves, you know, in a way, kind of looking at her with kindness here. In some ways, this kind of gives me the vibe of like the strength card. In which I'm seeing that she's got this heart that's glowing right around her center of her chest and I mean, there is this veil that's over her, but to me, in a way, it's kind of like softening her gaze. And I'm just kind of feeling a lot of healing that's happening here. Maybe this person is being a lot kinder to themselves in terms of the way that they're communicating, right? With their inner dialogue, inner conflict that they may have struggled or cha been challenged by. So... It makes me feel like for some of you, you could start to notice this person starting to shift or change their energy towards you in a way that is more positive, more loving, more supportive. With the Ace of Wands here, I feel like this person is, you know, coming upon this place where they're ready to start new. They're ready to start over in a in a different energy you know coming from a place of love of compassion of kindness i'm feeling bringing a lot of things to the surface that 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 needed healing you know where this person has been afraid to reach out afraid to talk to you afraid to move things forward i'm feeling there's a lot of inner work that this person has been doing you know, because even though this little fish here is, you know, kind of like struggling here, trying to swim upstream, swimming against the tide, however you want to look at that, I'm seeing that there's this little star that's here in the sky, you know, so it makes me feel like your person is starting to change in terms of them seeing that there is hope, there is keeping faith, you know. That there is possibility, I feel like, for the two of you by releasing a lot of the things. Because 
and the way that I kind of look at this, and I don't know if you guys will get this or not, but the way that I look at this is like, this is this big master cup of feelings and emotions that this person has been working on healing themselves, right? They're working on their healing here, releasing all these things from their heart so that they are in a place where they have love to give to a partner, right? We have these two little cups that are down here, right? Because sometimes when we're in a, you know, in a place with love, sometimes our cup is empty, right? And we have nothing to give. So it makes me feel that with this forgiveness here and the devil in reverse, the death card, there is this change that's happening within this person where they are releasing, working towards releasing the things that maybe they have been struggling with and working on a lot of emotional release to leave room or to create space, right? For, in a way, two of cups energy, right? Uh, a romantic partnership. Love to give, you know? And that's kind of what I was hearing from spirit is softening to love, you know, in, into a much better energy where this person with the ace of wands, you know, can symbolize that there's a spark, there's chemistry, there's attraction between the two of you. You know, for some of you, it could be if you're actively dating the person with the Ten of Cups, it could be, you know, that they're really happy. They feel very happy with you, but maybe there were some blockages that were kind of keeping this person a little bit, like, stuck a little bit, you know? Um, but with the world, this is the completion of a cycle. And the Ace is an opportunity for a new beginning, and for some of you, maybe this is bringing the spark back into your love life, your relationship, or into your connection with this person. You know, this also, because it literally is three cups, it reminds me of the three of cups energy in that, you know, for some of you, it could be going out, having a good time, meeting up with you, spending time with you. I am feeling for some of you, though, there has been delayed contact, delayed messages, delayed action here. Fear. But yeah, I feel like this is something that's coming to an end here with the death card endings to create new beginnings, but more so transformation that is taking place within this person. We also have Leo Taurus. Aquarius energy here as well. Okay, so I want to see what else. We're going to get some more. But yeah, we had growth at the bottom. Okay. So to me, yeah, this is a lot of maybe personal growth this person has been going through. Or maybe wanting to allow this connection to grow and evolve. Um, I feel like as well. So let's see what else. Pile one, what is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? How are they currently feeling towards pile number one? Words, connection, we have love. So quite literally, this person could be in love or having feelings of love, you know, towards you, wanting to express them. We're seeing a typewriter here. I don't know who uses typewriters anymore, but maybe it's like typing on their keyboard to you on their phone. Let's see. Writing you a love letter or an email maybe for some of you. We have good luck. It looks like a little heart ladybug here. Yeah, this makes me feel like they're starting to change their energy surrounding uh, the connection to more positive, you know, more open. We have pieces here. And to me, this is kind of like a card of like fragmentation, you know, almost like this person has been working towards pulling those pieces of themselves together to work on healing. Um, maybe for some of you, this can symbolize a breakup, you know, a breakup that you've had with this person. Maybe if you've had a challenging connection with them, we have worries here. Okay. Worries. Maybe this person has worried about getting hurt, worried about having their heart broken. And then we also have cloud nine. Bliss of happiness seems like a dream. 
You know, maybe this person struggles with the idea of this is too good to be true. Or this feels too good to be true. You know? Let's see what else. Pile number one. What is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? You know? And I don't want to say that everything is like all fine and dandy. I mean, we still have struggle here. But this makes me feel like this person is working through this. You know, maybe there is still things this person is feeling challenged by, but working towards releasing, freeing themselves, I feel like, in a sense. Okay, so we have talking here, interested, awaiting messages, texts, calls, emails, and talking more. So maybe for somebody that could be this person reaching out to you or they're waiting for your message. Let's see, what is going on? We have key on a ring, and we have many options, unconventional, one night stand, and also string along. And maybe for some of you, that has been a situation where this person may have been worried, right, about commitment, and they didn't want to make things serious, okay? We also have healing and releasing, you know, I mean, that could have literally been something this person has told you is like, I'm not ready for a relationship or I'm not ready to open up my heart. Or you may know, you know, that they're going through something and healing. Okay. Let's see what else. We have silence and no contact for some of you. We also have hypnotized here, only you, fixated, and also attached, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and also fleeting. Yeah, but I'm feeling like a lot of this is something that is changing. You know, this person going through this transformation, I'm seeing addiction here, codependency, obsession, restraint, possession, control, and emotional block. But with the devil in reverse, right, this is the releasing of that. But I'm feeling this could be here. What this person is working towards releasing is this pattern of behavior. We've got the phoenix here. New phase and rekindling, renewal, growth. Again, this is our growth card, right? There's change. Um, let's see what else. We have escaping, right? Avoiding, pushing away, dodging. Invisible, disappearing, ghosting, running for some of you, right? May have been something this person may have done. But I'm, I'm feeling also with this here, like maybe feel fear of falling in love or having really strong feelings towards you. And knowing, you know, that they've got a lot that they need to unpack, you know? So maybe for some of you could currently be in this process right now where this person has run, you know? But I feel like know that, what this person is going through is the healing and releasing of these types of energies. Um, and for some of you, this can be renewal of your relationship. Okay. This person, for some of you, could have been scared of commitment. They could have been afraid of the way, how the strength of which they felt towards you, the feelings, the emotions. I feel like for some of you, you also have really helped this person to grow. You know, to face, to own their traumas or, you know, anything that they've been healing from. You know, some of you could have been very, maybe very triggering for them. But also acknowledging like, yeah, I've got to work on myself. I need to heal. Okay. So I'm going to leave this reading here for you. Pile number one. I do hope that this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pal too. So those of you that resonated with the awareness card and the selenite uh, crystal, this is going to be a reading. So just kind of intuitively looking at this card, I'm seeing how this guy is kind of like crouched down, looking like he's thinking about something. And then I'm seeing how this little thing is up here. It makes me feel like maybe for some of you, this person is having like dreams or I'm even feeling maybe for some of you, very few of you that are connected to this person, 
some type of soul bond with this person that you guys might have a very telepathic type of connection. We have awareness. So we'll see how this is kind of playing into your reading. We're going to pull your tarot and see what is coming through. We're looking today. What is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? Maybe this is dreams or visions or reflection that is on this person's mind. Maybe this person is, I don't know, maybe coming to a realization, awareness of their own feelings. Let's see. Some of you I'm getting, this may even be like a love triangle situation. Okay, let's see. Pile two, what is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? The hermit. The hermit. This is a lot of a person spending time alone, solitude by themselves, reflection, introspection here. We've got Virgo energy. I don't like that. Virgo. What is going on? I mean, the person could be isolating themselves from you. Maybe some of you are no contact with the hermit energy from them. I'm seeing also this hermit looks like it's facing a mountain here. Maybe some type of challenge to overcome, which could be something they're going through in their personal life. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it feels like a mountain between the two of you. Or there's distance or there's an obstacle, a blockage, a challenge. We have the Ace of Wands. I don't know who this is for, but I'm hearing... I know you still have feeling. <laughs> I know you still have feelings for me. Um, let's see. Like, I know you love me. Let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Wands. What is going on? We've got the Chariot. Okay, so we've got Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Aries, Virgo. What is going on with Tattoo's person? We also have the world. Some of you, there could literally be distance between the two of you. A relationship that's ended. Hmm. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, this can also be talking about changes, a person being at a turning point in their life. For some of you that are separated from this person, I kind of feel like this person could be thinking like, will our paths cross again? Is there still a chance, an opportunity maybe for us to, yeah, and I'm seeing the five of cups at the bottom. This could be feelings of regret or guilt or sadness, pain, loss. Maybe for some of you, it's having an awareness of, of losing something or a choice they need to make. There's a lot of black in here, too, which kind of reminds me of the hermit, too, because the hermit, like I said, is very introspective energy. So we're looking with inside of ourself, you know, in this case, this guy looks like he's sitting in the dark and there is this light energy that's kind of coming out of his third eye. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this person sends you messages telepathically. Maybe you're feeling a lot of their energy here. That they're feeling sad or feeling depressed. Especially those of you that have like a soul bond with a person where you're still able to pick up on their energy. You know it's not your own and all of a sudden you just feel like this wave of energy. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let me pull some more tarot. We're going to pull two more 
from this deck here. Pile two, what is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? I'm definitely feeling there's still attraction here. We've got the three of wands. Yeah, def definitely distance for some of you. The three of wands is about longing for something, waiting, anticipation, um, yearning, thinking about future. The three of wands is about foresight, planning, you know. Eight of Wands. For some of you, I feel like this person is wanting contact, messages, communication. For some of you, this could literally be travel. Traveling. Not that one. Let's go into pulling these Oracle here. I also have Sagittarius energy. What is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you, Pile 2? Masculine energy. Mm, masculine energy is more or less about making choices, decisions, um, disciplined action. So yeah, maybe this person is bringing awareness to their mind about maybe some type of plan, something they have to figure out here. Hmm. We have the number 16 here too. That is the tower energy. So maybe this is some type of realization this person is having. We also have letting go. And we also have joy here. <clears throat> now those of you that are separated and or you've broken up from this person. You know, because we were seeing the five of cups at the bottom. Maybe this person is coming to that realization that they have to let go. You know, maybe for some of you, they've had to let go of this connection. Mm. Yeah, it just makes me feel like there's... Mm, the with, Hermit energy is an energy of withdrawal, or someone being withdrawn. Maybe this person has chosen to withdraw from you. I'm seeing emotional release at the bottom. You know, so even if you guys are like separated right now, maybe there is a lot of release this person is doing of their feelings and their emotions. Working through these energies. I don't necessarily see it in a way that letting go is making them feel joy. I look at it at this as this person having a lot of memories that are coming up for them. A lot of thinking, deep diving into the self. You know, some of you, the letting go could be symbolic of them working on healing. You know? Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> no, I want to do the other one first. Let's do this first. Letting go. Makes me kind of curious to see what they're letting go of. Are they letting go of you? Are they letting go of... I mean, we have emotional release, so that can quite literally be what it is, releasing feelings and emotions of regrets or guilt or... I'm feeling also because these two little birds, one is white, one is black, maybe there's too many, like I said, with the mountain that's there, maybe there are too many obstacles for you guys, too many challenging energies that are surrounding the two of you guys being together, so maybe they feel that the differences are something... That are keeping you apart. I'm also noticing that both birds are on different branches. So maybe for some of you, it is quite literally, you got your lives are on two different paths. Um, your lives are going in two different directions. Notice how they're pointing two different ways, two different directions. Um, maybe for some of you, it's differences in culture or religion or uh, I don't know something that could be keeping you guys apart from each other. I don't know, maybe some of you literally are 
a biracial couple or I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of seeing the differences here maybe for letting go. Okay, so is this the one that I want? Yes. Let's see. What are what is this person letting go of? Temperance. This is healing. This is healing. The transmutation of energies. Sagittarius. What are they letting go of, Spirit? What are they letting go? Pile two's person. What are they letting go of? I'm feeling it's a lot of healing. Page of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, some of you, it could quite literally be that, you know, that this person has to let go or there's something that's blocking your connection. So this person may be in a place where they're coming to terms with needing to release the connection and move on, move forward. Okay, some of you, I'm definitely getting that message, you know, especially if your lives have taken you in two different directions, like you're in another relationship, they're in another relationship or you know, uh, families involved or anything like that. Okay, let's go into the Oracle. What is going on with Pile 2's person? How are they currently feeling towards Pile 2? Words, connection with love. Love. Maybe that's what's also coming here too for this person, right? The energy of love, thinking about you, reminiscing as they're working through their feelings and their emotions. What is going on? Maybe needing to express certain things to you. We have stubborn here, <laughs> hard-headed, talking to a brick wall. Maybe this person has been stubborn, you know, or hasn't let down the guard or the wall that they put up or not opened up with their feelings or their emotions. Maybe so there's a lot of things this person is also working towards healing and releasing so that they have maybe a more balanced energy, feeling more confident about taking some type of action here. Let's see. We have broken, broken, we have a cassette here, some of you that are super young, you might not know what a cassette is, but this is the way we used to listen to music with one of these things, um, but I don't know, maybe some of you guys have a, a connection with music here. Some of you, maybe the connection was something that was broken. I'm seeing there's a little heart that is there with the tape. Hmm. What is going on? We have dreams. Look at that. This person having dreams about you. What are they currently feeling? We have investments here. Stability wise, practical income of money. Maybe for some of you, this person was very focused on career stuff, and maybe some of you work with the person. But this also kind of gives to me for some of you about a person putting in effort, you know, for some of you where it is possible for you to be with this person, investing into the connection, opening up to it. Let's get one more. And we have unlock here with a key. Maybe there's something about this connection that, you know, you've unlocked this person's heart. They've unlocked yours. Maybe they're trying to figure something out. Like I said, for some of you where they're able to kind of make this work between the two of you, if that is something that is possible for the two of you. Okay, let's see. 
what is going on with pile two's person how are they currently feeling we have the teddy bear interested in you blooming romance flirting wanting to date Oh, what I'm getting also here too, maybe for some of you, this person has been someone who's maybe even been single for a while or has told you hmm, that they weren't ready for love because their heart's been really broken or hurt from the past. And maybe they were somebody who's very guarded here. We've got addiction here, codependent, obsession, restraint, possession, control, an emotional block. Maybe for some of you, there's, because I'm seeing a chain here. Maybe for some of you, like I said, there could be something that has been blocking this person. They also have secrets here. Concealing, hiding, and mystery. So maybe for some of you, it's, I don't know. Do you have a secret connection with this person? Or they have secret feelings? They've been hiding their feelings? Look at that. We have love, signs, meanings, love. We also have love on the little typewriter there. And we have the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Mm. We have the ship, cutting ties, moving on. Like I said, for some of you, yes, it could be that this person is, you know, in their thoughts, in their feelings thinking about what they've lost, releasing maybe a lot emotionally, okay? Um, we also have withdrawn, which we can see the hermits here, single, lonesome, solitary. And then we have the phoenix here, new phase, rekindle, renewal, growth, changed mind, rising from the ashes. So to me, this is also a lot of inner work. Like I said, this person is working on doing here we have party and having fun and then we also have separation here sadness bitterness uh, missing you thinking about you uncertain about the future okay maybe for some of you this person has chosen to stay single i feel like they have an awareness of the feelings that they have with love some of you, this person could have been saying, you know, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm just not looking for something serious where they need to pull back their own energy. Um, some of you, maybe they can be remembering, you know, good times that you and them have spent with each other. But like I said, some of you could be in separation and or broken up. You know, this could be an ex-partner. Um... And I feel like there is that realization, right? I need to let go or I have to, like the person trying to work through these feelings and these emotions of letting go, you know? And maybe there are some regrets that are there for some of you, depending on choices that they've made, you know? It's kind of what I'm seeing here. So that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi pile three. So those of you that resonated with the one card and the little moon here, this is going to be a reading. So we're finding out what is going on with your person. How are they currently feeling towards you? So we're going to start with tarot. And I'm going to kind of take a look at the energy all together with our oracle cards as well. So pile number three, what is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? How are they currently feeling? We've got the king of pentacles. What is going on with pile number three's person? How are they feeling towards pile three? We have the Two of Swords. Four of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. We 
We have the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. And let's see what else is coming through. We'll pull some of these first. Two more tarot. What is going on with pile number three's person? How are they currently feeling towards pile number three? We do have Libra, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and also Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What is going on with pile number three's person? How are they currently feeling towards pile three? We have justice. And the ace of wands. So we also have Libra, Aries. <clears throat> Let's see. What is going on? Ancient wisdom. We have emotional release. And we have unlimited possibilities. Okay. I'm kind of seeing with the Two of Swords energy here that there is this person I feel like kind of stuck at a place of indecision they can have conflicting thoughts or ideas about this situation that is kind of happening with you and I feel like for some of you it may be surrounding making a decision to be in a committed relationship for some of you that could even mean reconciliation mm, but With the Four of Cups energy here, for some of you, this can mean that this person has rejected you in the past, or they are dealing with some type of emotional discontent with inside of themselves that they are working towards releasing. Because the Four of Cups energy can really put us in a spot where we're feeling very unbalanced. Um, we could be bordering along the line of, of depression. If you kind of look at the way this person is sitting, they've got their back turned to the card, but they've got their head kind of down, just sitting there, you know? So the Four of Cups can sometimes be a card of like missed opportunities or indifference, or we feel sad or bored, or, you know, maybe this person is going through a lot emotionally, um, where it's putting them in a place where they're feeling maybe confused or conflicted about making some type of action or decision about you. Maybe it's, you know, whether or not they want to have a relationship. I am feeling with the page of wands energy in reverse that this person could be someone who feels afraid to take action or afraid to message you. But I'm noticing that we also have the Ten of Cups energy here. So it could even be this person thinking, you know, like, is this connection going to be something that does bring me happiness and fulfillment? Some of you, this person could even be like super focused on their career and their finances and like other parts of their life. They could have other commitments, you know, that they're invested into. And I feel like with justice here, it's kind of like this person is wanting both of these kind of like the same energy here where you're kind of weighing your options, trying to make the best decision you possibly can make for yourself. I feel like with the Ace of Wands energy here, this person feels that there is attraction, there's chemistry between the two of you, there's potential. Um, but with the ancient wisdom, to me, it's about this person trying to find that guiding light or that answer from within the self and trying to think about what decision in this space is going to be the best, what is going to have the best outcome. Because with unlimited possibilities here, I feel like this person is trying to arrive at a decision where they keep themselves open, right? Two opportunities, 
And I feel like they know that there is an opportunity here. But it just makes me feel like this person is unsure about whether or not to take that. Or if they're ready for it energetically. Um... Maybe for some of you, this person is not maybe in an emotional place where they feel quite ready, even though it could be a connection that does bring them happiness. They could be afraid to start over, afraid to start new. Um, to me, with the energy of one here, it could be this person, you know, in a way trying to find oneness with inside of themselves, you know, trying to find balance here. I feel for some of you, you know, with the justice card here, it could be wanting to bring some type of justice to the situation. You know, it could also be that this person is wanting to bring you some type of truth or to even treat the situation or treat you, I would say, in a way, fairly, you know, where this person is not going to be like wasting your time, but more or less... I want to make the best decision possible for myself and also for pile number three. And this to me kind of in a way feels with the four of cups energy here that this person might quite not be ready in an emotional state. They could be someone who's emotionally unavailable or going through something personally. Okay, so let's, what do I want to do? I want to... Go into some oracle cards here. Okay, so pile number three. What is going on with your person? How are they currently feeling towards you? We have traveling. Long distance. Some of you, maybe it's a long distance connection. We have new faces and new places. For some of you, maybe this person travels for work. Or you met them this way. Um... Let's see here. We have T's here. And we also have forgiveness. And we have secrets. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this person has like a secret crush on you or a secret attraction. Something they have not spoken about. Maybe for some, I'm getting for some, this is like a very specific situation that's coming through. But this almost makes me feel for somebody, this could have been somebody that you met, like you both may work together or work in different parts of the country or like different places in the world. And you guys met while you were at a, like a meeting or a convention or training or something of that nature but one of you or both of you could be in other relationships or other connections where you've had this maybe secret crush on each other i'm getting that very specific for someone okay um, we also have spotlight here all eyes on you pride ego recognition so it's making me feel like this person is just maybe feeling right a little bit conflicted about what to do but I feel like putting a lot of thought into that. Um, and then we also have detox here, spiritual cleanse and purging. And then we also have enlightenment, spiritual awakening and a revelation. Maybe for some of you, if you are like separated from this person, like even though there is that separation or distance between the two of you, it's like that person still feels that, that connection still there. You know, maybe it was literally a missed opportunity for some of you where no one said anything. You kept your things to yourself, quiet. Maybe some of you, this person has been no contact with you. Maybe they're wanting you to maybe have forgiveness or to understand that there's still feelings here, but maybe they cannot speak about them or keeping them a secret for some of you. Okay, let's see what else. What is going on? We have escaping, avoiding, pushing away, or dodging. 
How are they feeling towards pile three? We have the coffee cup here. Meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, and also building friendship. So for some of you with the spotlight here, it makes me feel like some of you might like even just work with this person for some of you, or you don't have to, but mm, maybe this person watches you, <laughs> watches you. Um, mm, I'm getting for some of you with the forgiveness, there could have been some type of conflict that happened between you and this person. Maybe this person hasn't come forward and apologized to you wanting you to forgive them. Maybe they've been avoiding you because there's been some awkward energy between the two of you. What is going on? How are they feeling towards pile number three? We have cycles here. Time, waiting, and infinity. We also have legal matters also for some of you, maybe. And we have disputes here. I mean, we do have justice. So maybe for some of you, there's some type of mm, something that you're going to have to work on with this person. Something that you guys need to agree upon. Mm. Maybe if, for some of you, it is some type of legal settlement or something. I don't know. If you have children, maybe there's custody or support or something, money. Let's see what else. And then we have ex-lover, Old Spark. Old Spark. Maybe for some of you it is like an ex-partner. Or this person could be going through something with an ex-partner. Or still in the middle, maybe for some of you, of a divorce, of a separation. Yeah, some of you I'm getting that here as well. Like you could be dealing with a person who's in the middle of a separation, in the middle of a divorce. Hmm. And if that is the case, I feel like they feel like there is this connection between the two of you, but maybe they're not able to fully focus on it right now. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, almost like I've got this going on in my life and I see you here and I know that you're here bringing in happiness and love and the opportunity here. But the truth is I'm still a little withdrawn because I've got other stuff going on in my personal life that I'm dealing with here. So some of you, I'm getting that situation here as well. Let's see what else. I'm definitely feeling there's attraction. We have uh, the Phoenix here, new phase rekindling for some of you, changing their mind, rising from the ashes, renewal and growth. Some of this person could literally be going through a transformation, right, with inside of themselves. We also have finality here. Goodbyes, farewells, and endings. Like I said, some of you could be going through maybe a separation, divorce, or this person here. We have unspoken here, unsent, lost words, and disappointment. So maybe for some of you, you've ended things with this person and you guys have been no contact I don't know, maybe some of you guys have this person blocked with disappointment. Maybe this you've made it so this person cannot, cannot contact you. I'm almost kind of getting a situation for some of you. Like this person was not fully committed into the connection or fully like ready to give their full time and energy and attention. So some of you could have had like a very... I'm getting tumultuous or chaotic situation with this person, especially if you were trying to like date somebody and they were like going through their separation, going through the divorce and they were being like inconsistent with you. I'm getting for some of you. Okay. We also have whole heart here, unconditional innocence and support. Hmm. This makes me feel for some of you, especially where you have time invested into this connection that this person is has very deep feelings towards you. Some of you, if this is an ex-partner, I feel like this person may still love you. Um, 
you know, maybe there's been separation and they haven't talked about it. For some of you, I feel like this person feels that there's a very special bond between the two of you. Um, they may be kind of questioning whether or not what you guys had with each other is over, if it's done. But it makes me feel regardless of distance between the two of you, there's still something there. You know, even if you guys haven't talked or they feel like they're not able to, you know, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, so that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.